All right, character introductions. Okay. Who are you playing tonight? I am Bruce the Hulk Banner, and I am a male dwarf fighter. That's nice. Male dwarf fighter. Yeah, and I have a Napoleon complex. Napoleon complex, good. Jack, who do you got tonight? Mad Reader Lad. Mad Reader Lad? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What, what uh, race class? Uh, Halfling Vampire. Halfling Vampire, of course. <laughs> Greetings. I am a Shardmine Scion. Uh, although many people are opposed to telepathy and telekinesis, I yes. I promise you, I never use my powers for evil. Okay. I have, in fact, because we are so misunderstood, created a school, an academy, and a library. Excellent. To teach others like me to control their power and use it responsibly. Oh, yes. Uh, due to an unfortunate accident, my legs were crushed, and I now use my uh, tensor's floating disc to get <laughs> Very nice. My name is uh, Professor Zavictarius. Zavictarius. But that might be a little hard to pronounce, so you can call me Professor X. Got it, got it. Who are you playing tonight, my friend? Hello, I'm playing as Deadpool, and I don't ever die. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a few times, but Steph wasn't too happy about it, so... No. There you now go. I'm back here. You're ready, man. You're ready. I'm playing Dr. Druid. Dr. Druid is uh, is excited about you know, doing some networking with Professor X. I really feel my calling is to really remind people of the dangers of mind control and how it really you know, adversely affected a lot of people's reputations, primarily my own. In my quest to be a great monster hunter, I feel that my life has been stolen from me by mind control. And so I really seek to, you know, restore some, some valued reputation to my name and my family, as well as, you know, maybe get the message out on the dangers of mind control. All right. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. All right. You guys have come to Baldur's Gate for a job working as caravan guards for good head <laughs> yeah, for goods heading south overland from the city. But you've arrived to meet the shipments from Waterdeep a few days early. Now you have some time to spare and explore the city a bit. A few miles out from Baldur's Gate, a squint-eyed herdsman tries to convince you to leave your horses with him instead of boarding them up just outside the city. Now you're wishing you'd listen. You guys found a place for your horses, but the price you're paying to keep them there is outrageous. Now because it's Founder's Day, you guys don't have to pay the usual fee in order to enter the city. But that's a small consolation for the high boarding uh, fees that the crowds create for both housing and for your horses. You guys have been waiting in line for an hour when you finally leave behind some of the stink and noise of the outer city and pass through the first part of the Black Dragon Gate. The muddy courtyard between gates, the rattle of smithing, stench of beasts, and the barking of dogs begins to fade. You guys, leer, leering down from you above the second gate, you see a sculpture that gives the gate its name. It's a giant stone carving of a black dragon's head. It's said to be magically empowered with the ability to spew acid at invaders in the times of siege. As you last pass under the dragon, guards in crisp black uniforms wearing black helms with bold red stripes look you over and point you toward a row of iron boot scrapers. Once you've cleaned off the worst of the muck, muck another guard nods in approval and waves you guys through to make room for the next group. Once you make it to the upper city, you're immediately struck by many contrasts. The wide, muddy ways of the tumble-down shantytown outside are now replaced by narrow, cobbled streets and regular buildings of solid yellow, granite, decorated with doors and there's shutters, they're bold red, blues, and greens. It's a very beautiful sight with blossoming plants tumbling out of window boxes, making the air sweet. The chaos of the outer city is gone, and the excited chatter of the crowd has quieted to a respectful murmur as you move toward the wide, the city's grand market square. All right. So I'm going to set up the I'm going to set up the market for you guys now with this map here. Can I, we clear off this area? Yeah, let me grab one of these. Do we still have our horses? Have we successfully stabled them you have before stabled we them. came in? You've been able to stable them for outrageous prices outside right. the city. Got it. So good. This has got to stop, man. <laughs> My wife will divorce me if we start eating donuts every week. We'll be dying. We're moving to donuts over here. Wow. Okay. Can we trade for cookies? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to know it's after all you've had. I know, seriously. Okay. Regular donuts. If you guys can help spread pennies around to squares, just uh, put one penny per square, basically. Everyone help me out with this. Just everywhere? Yeah, just on any square, well, one per square, basically, not on the markets, obviously. Just, uh, just like where people might be. These are civilians. Yeah. 
I'll explain. I'll explain when everything is in a second. There's gonna be a couple more. I got a great deal on these pennies. They sell a hundred of them for just a dollar. Really great price. <laughs> Wait, we don't have minis. Oh, you guys got to get minis real quick. Yeah, we're still fighting on the mini problem. Okay. Do you guys want bottle caps? We better go with bottle caps. Alright, there's a couple bottle caps and a slug. <laughs> Deadpool is the slug. Okay. <laughs> what do you got, Jackie Lightning? Alright, help spread out a couple more pennies. Cool. Oh. Yeah, exactly. should, that should be good. We just want to crowd them around here. What is this slug from? From Naruto. Oh, okay. Do you want to? Okay. Where's the blob? Donuts, man. How can you work at a donut store? <laughs> <laughs> the best job ever. The you get worst? sick of the donuts. You get really, 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 really fat by eating too many donuts. You can't. Also, thing also knowing yourself. knowing how they're made and how bad they are for you, like seeing the That's oil good. and smelling it all day. It takes the love. It's okay. <laughs> I have a sister that made sandwiches through high school. She worked at a famous sandwich shop in Beverly Hills, and she like mayonnaise, and she almost starts throwing, like just looking at it makes her like just freak out. Wow. Jack, you found a bead? Yes. Beads are cool. Wait, I got something, didn't I? Oh, I got a, I got a cherry cola. Yeah, this is awesome, dude. Okay. Like that. All right. Slugs are almost kind of like the food. You know how many random things they have next to their mouth. In the same way, so is Jamie Hyde. All right. I don't know who that is. You guys, uh, you you guys oh, okay. let me get your tokens. So, you guys are going to be entering the market from right here. Um, see Ooh, there was water on the table. Uh oh. From the water oh, bottle no. that was there. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. It'll dry. It'll, It'll dry. dry. It'll dry. It's just water. It's good. It makes the city more realistic. That's Ooh, okay. No, that's a lot of water. Okay. What? You don't want the paper minis. The paper what? The paper minis, man. He's got these ridiculous... Oh, he's got paper minis? Um, I don't think they want them. I have my minis. They just need theirs. And they can't use coins because obviously I've got that cover. These are the monsters. No, I've got monsters. Okay. Alright, what were you doing with the pennies? <laughs> All right, so the, uh, you're now in the wide. The wide serves as the city's only open market, and laws that forbid street sales do not apply here. There's throngs of crowds drawn here, uh, buying everything from doing everything from hearing Founders Day speeches to buying and selling wares. When you guys arrive, the area is packed full of people. You see some city officials milling around by the stage. Uh, a couple more wandering through here. These are the city officials, and you recognize her as Lenta Moore, the vigilar and head of the town guard. Okay. You see about 12 soldiers of the watch just wandering through, and standing in the wide, uh, right as you guys walk in, is a giant statue. It's a 15 foot tall statue of a powerful warrior in plate armor. Far from being a typical Grim Guardian, this warrior uh, grins enthusiastically and cradles a hamster in his hands. A hamster? Yes, he has a, ha a giant warrior with a hamster. The statue was erected about 70 years ago by an eccentric, eccentric textiles merchant named Orbert Lewell. According to legend, the man is Minx, a dull-witted but brave ranger who's, um, who saved Lul's life from some forgotten danger. And the hamster is Boo, a pet that Minx believes to be a pygmy giant space hamster. Okay. This quirky statue is a favorite landmark and a meeting spot for the ever-changing sea of market stalls. Since you guys are a bit early, you figured you might as well peruse the market for a bit. So you guys are now free to do whatever you want for a bit. So, it's Founders Day, uh, there's going to be speeches in a bit. There's some markets you can check out. Just move your minis where you'd like to go and let me know what you want to do. Shopping time, guys. Does Dr. Druid have any gold? You have, everyone starts with 100 gold at level 1 unless you bought stuff from the character builder. Do you have a character sheet? I have it on my phone. Okay. Here's my phone. Okay. <laughs> She's like, do you have a character sheet? <laughs> I am not prepared today. I have 8 no. gold. Not yet. 8 gold, dude. That's, we need boots. I don't like the fact that we're wearing these drudgery, muddy boots. Just so you know, there's a ye old Krispy Kreme somewhere around here. Oh, we should head to the Krispy Kreme right away. Are you guys looking for uh, is food? Professor X is actually, you, you have legs, you just don't use your legs? They, they are unfortunately crushed by a terrible accident. So you're floating on a disc? Yes. Just torso up. I thought you had the wheelchair thing. 
So the, well, wheel, wheelchairs don't exist in this universe. So Tensei is floating this. Yes. Uh, yes. So what do you no, guys? Not I bet Professor can... Banner may be able to engineer you something a little bit more efficient. <laughs> what do you think, Professor Banner? Half of a cart. <laughs> this hamster is giving me a good idea with like a hand, a hand crank hamster wheel. <laughs> we should buy it supplies to build a giant wheel that she could sit in the middle of and crank this thing and it would go around like a giant hamster wheel. That, that's ludicrous. <laughs> you think that would work? That would be awesome yeah. if we got back to work. So what do we need? So what do you guys want to do? There's multiple stalls if you guys want to check those out. What are those second level boots while the wood stand on the minor? We need, uh, we need rope and wood to start with. Yes. All right. You guys uh, move your move your minis to the shopping area. The pennies represent crowd. You guys can be on the same square as a crowd person, but crowd will count as difficult terrain should you ever need to move in a, in a, a hurried situation. So, so it looks like it's mostly fruits and vegetable kinds of stands, like like well, it's lunch time. So, uh, where, which one are you? I'm here. All right, you're uh, right next to actually a fish stand. They've got a uh, fish by the pound. You can get some salmon, river eel, freshwater crab, cuttlefish. Wow, all pretty reasonable prices. One gold piece to five gold piece each. Okay. That's not bad. Yeah. Well, I'm very interested in some cuttlefish. Okay. Well, I, have a, good. I have a friend that's a, a, a slug, and you know it's similar. So, so I'm gonna get you know like a pound of cuttlefish. That'll be three is it gold. Cooked? Three gold. Oh, no, it is. It's raw cuttlefish. Three gold for a pound. Three gold a pound. And it's raw. Not even kidding. Not even kidding. <laughs> Three gold for a pound of cuttlefish. A pound of cuttlefish is pretty good. So I have a hundred gold. I'm, I'm going to be purchasing, and, and I'd also like to engage in some discourse. That's my pounds of cuttlefish. All right, with the merchant. Yes. All right. I'm, he says, "Hi there. Uh, would you like to buy some cuttlefish?" No, I'm actually <laughs> looking for some uh, fishing line, fishing some like line. very powerful string or rope that I could use to attach to a giant rotating orb. Ah, okay. Um, if you're looking for pow powerful rope, yes. you should go talk to um, Acton Agath, the uh -huh. uh, scrimshaw man over there. Acton Agath. Yeah, he's uh, right over there. He still scrimshaw and other wilderness supplies. Scrimshaw and wilderness supplies. Okay. So I'll head in that direction. Okay. Um, we'll come back to you in a second. Yep. What are you doing? What would you like to do? You can do anything you want. I don't know if there's any powerful stimulants or drugs. <laughs> I do have streetwise. So okay, I'll give you a streetwise roll. <laughs> so Bruce Banner's trying to hook? I got a 10. All right. Um, you, you, don't know of, you don't know of any drugs, but you do know of some strange foreign food called udon noodles. There's a stand selling noodles, Ooh. and um, it's a very foreign concept because it's like a soup but with noodles. It's quite weird. You can buy some. Uh, this noodle man says uh, they, we sell them dry and buy the pound. Fifteen gold piece for a pound of udon noodles. Pretty good. They're very exotic. They come from a far off continent. I don't have that kind of gold. <laughs> Fifteen gold for udon noodles, man. I have eight gold. They might be laced with something, dude. You might want to do an insight check. He was looking for drugs. <laughs> so why are you telling him not to buy them? I'm all right. Yeah, You're good? Yeah. What are you shopping for, man? All right. I'd be looking for the nearest brothel. 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 All right. Um, make a, give me a street vibes. Also, great. These are some other city officials up here. Six. Brian Salmon, nice. Alright. What's your plus what's your shoot guys? Alright, so should be under zero. Zero? Okay, so you got a six. Um you think you know of a brothel that that house is a brothel? But it, it turns out it's actually just a college dorm. It's ah. quite, quite an awkward experience walking in. <laughs> Hello, <Link>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jack. What are you doing? Sorry, I'm going right here. All right, uh, you end up, you end up by the Gold Sands beer salesman. He sells beer smuggled out of Kalimshan. It's a very rare kind of beer. They have gold, orange, or a hand-sized keg for five bucks. That's the second time you've stepped on my clothes. Right. I will ask you're him doing it on if there's anybody here that might sell any sort of equipment. <laughs> Oh, uh, weapons or equipment? Oh, uh, no, we're actually not allowed to sell anything dangerous or magical in this part of town. There's a shop uh, down the ways a bit. This is just a sort of merchant fair today. But we can give you tools, we just can't give you anything weapon, any weapons. You can use a lot of things. He says, he says, but I do have this beer for five silver, so five silver for a cup. You will compensate for that. No, not strange. You will eat metal. You will eat metal. All right. I don't care who's local. All right, what do you do? I'm actually going to talk to the head of the town guard. Okay. You talk to her. She introduces herself. She says, hail, citizen. 
Greetings. Hi there. I assume you are in charge here? Yes, I'm Lenta Moore. I'm the captain of the watch. And you're now a citizen of Baldur's Gate. I'm not. That probably keeps you. You just got. She just turned you a citizen. That makes you an honorary citizen. Oh my God! You're, you're winning in Dungeons and Dragons. You're winning. No one else is a citizen. We're all schlepped just trying to find a brothel or drugs. Why am I hanging out with these degenerates, man? I'm trying to find like. Adventures boots are open. I do what I want, man. As a visitor to this town, I was Let wondering me be. If you could tell me a little about a little bit about this festival, about its origin. Oh, Founders Day. Oh. Absolutely, I'd love to. Uh, today is Founders Day. That's the day that celebrates our uh, beloved founder, Baldurian the Great. He founded the city long, long ago. So today we invite everyone from across lands to come and partake in our festivities. See, normally it costs money to enter or go through our city, but today it's free. So we have a huge fair, and we, uh, we're going to actually have a speech coming up soon from Abdul Adrian, our current Duke for Life. Duke for Life? Abdul Adrian, he was a hero because he saved the city a few years back. From so, what? From... Okay. Uh, well, no matter who you ask in uh, the gate, the, that person will say Abdul Adrian is the greatest hero, second only to Baldurian the Brave. Duke uh, Adrian was raised at Candle Keep by the wizard Dorian, but he was swept up into a deadly series of events as one of, as uh, they say, he's one of Baal's own children, that is to say the god of assassins and death. He is a Baal spawn, one of their children, but he rejected his heritage and began a life as an adventurer, saving the city from the machinations of, uh, from the machines of an evil artificer. Yeah, that's all I can remember off the top of my head. <laughs> so a right. to remember. What are you doing, Dave? Well, you know, I'd like to have a little sidebar with Dr. Banner here. <laughs> right. I'm a little disappointed. We've, we've got a project here that I thought you would really embrace. We do, could improve the professors. <laughs> well, I'm going to head over to the keg manufacturer because the kegs are made out of, like, barrels, right? Yeah. Wooden barrels, yeah. So I want to buy barrel slats. Like right. a pallet of those. Are okay. there iron rings around the barrels? There's, yeah. That's what, that's so, do uh, I need the iron, Dr. Dead. Bear? Yes, you do. Yeah. The, the beer man says, all right, uh, you get enough uh, wood that you're looking right for? Here. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's wood there, too. We need some wood. Yeah, it's, it's but no, but the, these are already planks and they're probably already curved a little bit, right? These are going to be like, I'm building a giant, like, treadmill thing. This is my, this is my are you actually trying to build that? <laughs> so, yeah. You want to get uh, enough wood for what you're describing. You're going to need to buy about 20 gold worth of kegs. I can give you 20 gold worth of kegs. All right, all right. That's not wood. No, no Christmas. I will get the wood, and Deadpool will carry it for me. Do we get the beer in the kegs? Oh, uh, good question. Yeah, yeah, the kegs come with beer if you'd like them. I mean, I can empty them if you just want the kegs. Deadpool says yes. Is the price, is the price, does the price include? Oh, it's going to be the same if you get the beer or not. I'm a beer salesman. So we might as well take the beer. <laughs> yeah, we might take the beer. We've got to take the beer. So, wait, we've got Keeping him half with small kegs? Uh, you're getting 20 kegs that'll give you enough wood for what you're describing. Okay, so um, what about like a no, hand No, no, not cart. 20 kegs, 20 golds worth of kegs. So it's going to be like four kegs to get what you need. And, and a hand cart, or how am I going to lug these? Uh, that's a good question. How are you going to lug those, sir? Uh, I'm just telling you the kegs. Right, right, right. <laughs> I need to hire, we need to hire a henchman. Okay, well, I mean, there's a crowd full of people. You might see if one of them would wants to Would you like to, to load them on my pencil's floating disc? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I would like to do. Okay. So I'm just going to stack them up right oh, here. Oh, make an arcana check for your disc to see how much you can hold, by the way. Oh, I don't, have, I don't have the list of stuff. It's okay. I just give me a d20 roll for your arcana. I know generally. You basically just need 20. Like, okay, you need 20 or higher as a result to hold, yeah. like, a 1,000 or something. Yeah, you're good. Okay, you can hold, like, over a 1,000 pounds. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to pile them here, and I'm going to continue to describe my project to Dr. Ben. Okay. Uh, we need we need rope or something to tie all this structure together. A chair and then some kind of hand mechanism in the middle to turn things. Okay. There is a chair right here. Maybe we can buy that stool off. Yeah, then. buy it. All right. All right. So you want to go buy that stool? Yes. Uh, that stool actually is not. Um, that's not uh, something someone's selling. It's just a stool a merchant sitting on. But it's the exotic bird guy. Actually, he says well, exotic birds. He sells exotic Wait, birds. Wait, bird cage material. <laughs> that was gonna be. We could use the wiring to bird cages, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't say nothing about no cages. I just got the birds. <laughs> but they're trained well. Trained birds? I've got some trained exotic birds. They won't fly away from you or anything. They're not going to, you know, treasure hunt for you, but they can, They won't fly away if you want them. And how, how have you enslaved their minds such that they will not fly away? The same way you teach a child not to run away from home. By beating it relentlessly. <laughs> <laughs>
He's mad. You know so much better. But yeah, I mean, I guess I could be, I could be uh, reason to bar, uh, part with my stool for, say, 50 gold. Haggle. 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 I have no haggle. No. <laughs> <laughs> how, about, how about we offer all the beer in the in the haggle? Oh yeah, it's right here. How about you got four Bird salesmen have got to be hippies too. You got to need those drugs. Those four four kegs of beer. Uh, four <laughs> kegs of beer. Tell you what, I'll knock 30 gold off. You can have the stool for 20 gold if you give me the beer and the kegs. 50 gold? Why don't we have a stool? <laughs> Well, you guys seem 20. to want my stool so badly, I bet I could give you a gold for it. Do you want to front the rest of the gold? Well, you know, the battle we need to do is just go to the bathroom after hey, these. Just buy the stool, man. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> right, so you guys want to wait for me? Right. I'm, like plus I'm like, I'm, this is like my, I'm like plus 13 blood, plus 9 blood. You guys should, you guys should gather it up. For it. You gotta get the gear and the, the crayon crayon, fact, dude. At around this time, you guys uh, get the sense you should gather up and do the rest of your partying together. So oh, yeah, yeah. Stuff. yeah. Yeah, good idea. Let's do stuff together. Good idea. Now's Since a really guys, good time to look yeah. for the problem. Wait, wait, but she was doing stuff that was useful. Let's go. <laughs> <She's doing stuff. laughs> Let's do our chair and kegs over to the head of the guard and try to do some more like actual <laughs> investigation. <laughs> well, it's a party, right? <laughs> we come bearing beer. We've got a dwarf. <laughs> All right, so you guys. <laughs> Okay, so you guys, uh, where are you guys headed? Move your minis where you guys want to go. I'm headed in this direction. Okay. You can tell um, as the speech, or as the uh, speakers begin to like plan their speech more, it's getting closer to the time. Yes. You see uh, more crowd gathering in. They begin moving up here a bit. Oh, yeah. Right, can you guys uh, fit them to squares? Just help me out a bit. I'm going to oh, move yeah. up. I'm going to move the, no, no, don't take any from back here. But the ones I move up, just like snap them to the ground. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I know, I know generally where the crowd goes, but like the movement can go wherever. Yeah, whatever. Okay. What is it? Okay. It's cockroach. Whoa, that's cool. Wow. This is a big-ass cockroach. I know they had it. Come to Nice House, we have roaches. Alright, so you see a uh, crowd people moving from the market toward the stage in preparation for some big event. Alright, so you guys are about in the center here. What do you guys want to do? Go ahead and give me what you guys are doing. Still looking for the problem. The dimes are, are guards. The dimes are town guards. The, the quarters, quarters are city's are officials. This uh, looks like Abdul Adrian. Or you know it's Abdul Adrian because she gestured to him when explaining who Abdul was. So that's Abdul, Abdul Adrian. Adrian is a is a female? Abdul Adrian is the male. He's the hero of the city. The right. Raised in Candlekeep yeah. is a Bane Bale Spawn. He's a Ball Spawn. Ball Spawn. B H A A L Ball Spawn. Ball spawn. Gotcha. For Ball the God of Undead. God of Undead. Uh, yeah. uh, do we have a hey, look up there in the window? Should we should we start taking like tactical positions when really? bad things happen? Ab Abdul Adrian, everybody, real quick. Oh, this is Abdul Adrian. That's that's pretty cool. serious. That is this dude. Man. This is Duke Abdul Adrian. Okay. Yeah, Duke's yeah. Looking for that brothel. That's pretty wicked. <laughs> all right, so you guys are all up together now. Okay. Let's, let's should we should we take like some kind of tactical positions here, man? I think that would be smart. Yeah. Okay, so the crowd's pretty happy. But uh, suddenly a shout breaks the happy mood. Uh, a, beard, a bearded merchant um, from in within the crowd um, grabs your shoulder yes. and shouts, that's the second time you've stepped on my cloak, sir. You're either doing it on purpose or you're the clumsiest oaf I've ever seen. Jesus. I get that a lot. I'm very sorry, sir. <laughs> very, very sorry. So, sorry is not going to cut it. Do you see the cloak that you've ruined? I do, I do. May I offer you a keg of beer? A, a keg of beer? More like 300 gold 300 for gold? Are you looking at this no, cloak? You're, you're completely out of your mind, but it's let a me, reasonable offer. Let me give everybody but him make a perception check real quick. <laughs> okay. Everybody but this guy. Oh. New encounter die. New encounter oh, nice die, man. Still <laughs> Ten. Thirteen. One. Two. Two. All right. <laughs> All right. You I see that um, with your perceptions, you're able to see that the cloak is actually pretty mangled. He's got some. There's some mud on oh, the cloak. Oh, ten actually. Ten. This I get plus eight. Okay. But did it, did it look like it was plus nice eight? to begin yeah. with? Oh, it, it's a nice cloak. It's, it's a oh, very yeah, nice cloak. Don't, don't get that wrong. Who has intimidate? Me. Yeah. I have intimidate plus two. Yeah. 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 You see, so, sir, are you going to pay my 300 gold for my cloak, or should Absolutely I alert? Absolutely not. Should I alert the guards? We should definitely speak with the guards. Uh, fine. You you can go speak with the guards. Yes. All right. I will okay. escort him to the guards. All right. You. Which one are you? I'm the cherry cola. All right. The man says. Everybody okay. says, guards, guards, this man has assaulted me. Assaulted? The only thing that's been assaulted is my eyes with your horrible fashion sense, my friend. Look at that horrible 
the cloak that you're wearing. Today is Founders Day. We were supposed to wear our finery to the city square. And instead you come dressed like this, covered in mud? You're an embarrassment to all of Baldur's Gate. Arrest him, guards, for bad fashion sense. He says, this cloak is fine silk. Do you see how he has ruined it? I demand you find this man. Also, <laughs> give me a perception. Let's go. Oh. Someone please help me out here a bit. Eight. Eight? Okay. Um. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're so worth the diversion. I'm busy. <laughs> okay. I'm busy. Yes, I am. Okay, so, um. Alright. So the man says, yes, you see, as you see, the, the, this has happened, and I demand to be compensated. The guard replies, she says, look, look, I'm not here to deal with your petty squabbles. If there is assault or a crime, I'll do You just leave out. <laughs> I thought you were just leaving. <laughs> no, no, I got it. Like, right, right, I got it, I got it, I got it. He's like, so the guard says, I'm not here to deal with petty squabbles. If there is assault or you can prove some sort of intent, then I can deal with this. The man looks flustered and begins throwing his arms in the air, pushing other members of the crowd. He says, oh, you need assault for me to do something? Oh, this, this what, guy's... Do you intervene? Oh, and, or, absolutely. What, do, you, do you guys do anything? Wait, I'm a hero. Does this man sound... Seem genuinely like upset about his cloak getting ruined. Give me an insight. Uh, Fourteen. Um, he's genuinely upset, or he he seems he seems genuinely upset about. Okay, I am going to. Um, Do we have the exact same idea for in, in the coolest, deepest voice I can muster. I will send him a message telepathically. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Here we go. I am Balder, the spirit of Balder, and that his attitude is so piss poor that he oh, interrupted my rest. All right, give me a bluff check. On oh, Founder's Day, when he should be honoring me. Plus two Founder's Day bonus. <laughs> Plus two Founder's Day bonus. <laughs> it's more than. It's <laughs> telepathic. So it's a <laughs> <laughs> I have a you roll the twelve. <laughs> 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 The man, uh, let me, let me get this. Okay, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, so, yeah, he did pretty well. He says, says, what, so, so, what's someone trying to do? Is there a scion in the crowd or something? This is suspicious behavior. I'm gonna slink back over here. <laughs> <laughs> let me just lay down behind this bench. Hold on, I wanna say the Balder thing. Whatever you wanna say, tell me. Yeah. Hold up, real quick. Are you, are you, do you have Does he, Wait, uh, this guy, give me a perception. Come on, Bruce. I'm just saying, give me the voice. There it is. <laughs> 19. 19. All right. 19. Okay. As, all right. As you see these guys arguing further, you notice um, a thief tries to bump into you and grab some of your gold, but you, you're able to catch him in the act. He notices you catch him, and he looks really uh, nervous. What do you do? What do I do? Uh, I think I want to jump up and drop kick him. All right, you're going to make an attack against him. All right, roll it. Roll it. 17. There you go. And now are you doing lethal or non-lethal damage? Non-lethal. All right, just check it. I just don't so, like this guy. This guy, this thief tries to bug you. You just knock him on the back of the head. He falls down. Um, as you as he falls down, you see three purses like just fall from him. Each purse contains about uh, 20 gold piece each. And you notice a couple of people in the crowd say, hey, that looks like mine. Um, so they begin to walk to it, or do, do you grab the purses, or do you allow them to go to the purses that they? I'm, I'm gonna. <laughs> Don't take it, man. Take it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I am it. holding Bruce a Banner always struggles yes, with these boundaries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I am holding a great sword. Is it Bruce Banner or Hulk right now? He's still Doctor Banner, right? Now. I'm, oh, then that's not No, I am Hulk. He, he just holds the dude. <laughs> he just holds the dude to Kansas. All right, so are you letting him get their purses, or are you gonna grab them after you knock the thief out? You know what, I'm gonna let them grab the purses okay. and let the guard handle the thief. Okay. So, uh, which one are you, real quick? I am right here. Okay. So, um, as you do, uh, the people grab their purses, the guard comes to drag the thief away. You see the, the grateful three people each give you four gold, so you get 12 gold wow, as a reward for your nice action. That's pretty cool. Dr. As he's getting dragged away, he sa um, he, you hear him shout toward uh, that direction. He says, Devlin, we've been found out. Break, make a break for it. You see the man that you're arguing with looks yes. suspiciously nervous. Oh. He says, oh, what's, uh, what's happened here? Oh, Devlin, Devlin, Devlin. <laughs> I was wondering you wanted so much damn money for the damn phone. You just wanted to steal things from him. All the more money to do to do with in a brothel. That's a running joke now. I'm just warning you guys. So the the guard begins to drag away the thief toward this direction. Okay. When and the uh, Devlin man begins to make a run for it. He begins to sprint this way. Do you do anything? He's Devlin, sprinting. He begins sprinting that way. 
I will. I will. Uh, I will shadow jaunt, teleporting three squares in front of him. Okay. Cool. All right. You'll just do it before he gets yeah. further. All right. And and restrain him or somehow. All right. Roll up. Oh. That's a twelve. Uh, All right. I don't think I got anything. It's your strength mod. Whatever your strength mod is. So as long as it's not a negative one, you're doing. You're in pretty good shape. <laughs> yeah. Ten. I'm at twelve. No, no, your mod. My mod is zero. Okay. Okay, so you're at 12. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, so you're able to grab the guy as he's, working, as he's trying to get away. Yes. It says, unhand me. What are you doing? Relax your mind. What? Calm yourself. What's going on? You are clearly Relax. under control from uh, outside forces. <laughs> oh my These what? evil actions you have been taking kind of busy are right not now. who you really are. Roll intimidate. Let me help you find your inner... So. <laughs> Dr. Drew is not very intimidating. Dr. Drew, uh, Dr. Drew actually has a minus one. Oh, no, plus one. So that's a two. All right. He, he, he says, stop it. What are you doing? And he keeps trying to shake away. Yes. He's going to try and break out of your grab. Break the grab. <laughs> he a crit. Oh, man. We got the wrong damn die. <laughs> this guy's got a good die. <laughs> All right. He, he breaks free of your grab and begins sprinting this way. Uh -huh. But luckily, one of the guards oh. is able to nab him. Yes. And begins yes. dragging him off this way. Yes. Yes. Just yes. sighing in disgust. I forgive you! I yell after him. <laughs> Alright, just about this time, actually, things are winding down. You see the figure up here begin banging a gavel on his podium. Yes. You see people, a couple more people begin to filter in this way for the speeches. You guys can gather wherever, position yourselves wherever you'd like to be for the speech. Is there going to be a parade after the speech? Because I want to be in a good position for the parade. Um, you don't know if there's going to be a parade. Huh? You don't know right now. Alright. Let's let's be tactical. Oh, you're a, are you a ranger? What are you? You have a bow and arrow? Is anyone yeah. kind of Get up on the statue I'm, over here or something. I'm fairly squishy and I think we should close up the gap in the guards. Yeah. Oh, in case someone charges? Who's got the highest AC? I have a 17. <laughs> Don't Don't get in there, man. Get in there, Hulk. I think I'm the only like. I have 16. I have 16. <laughs> Why are you guys assuming bad things are going to happen? I've, I've done nothing to indicate anything bad would happen. <laughs> this could just be a really uneventful speech. All right. You can never be too careful. We're, we're, since some of the guards have left their posts, we're trying to fill in where the guards have left their post in case there's an attack or anything strange. Okay. As, ca as caravan guards, that seems like a thing. Right. right Wait, right. Uh, actually, the guards are not going to let you get past here. They said, sorry, sir, no one's allowed near the stage while Duke Adrian is on. I'm just so excited. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, all right. Someone wearing an official-looking sash, who you now know to be Abdul Adrian, starts speaking at the stage, but the crowd's noise makes it pretty difficult to understand what he's saying. But as soon as he raises his hands, the crowd filling the, uh, the wide erupts in cheers and then becomes silent as Adrian begins to speak. Yes. Now, when the man on the podium signals that he's ready, everyone immediately uh, looks at him in awe. One man just shouts, "We love you, Abdul." <laughs> that man on the the, the man on the dais uh, responds, "I love you too, Baldur's Gate." <laughs> <laughs> and, then the, and the cheering explodes louder than before. No one wants to see that. An, another wave of the speaker's hand brings the crowd back to attention. Yes. For several minutes, he heaps civics praise on Baldur's Gate, on Baldurian, the founder of the gate, and expounds on the virtues of shared opportunity and waxes poetic about the future. Then, quite suddenly, his speech trails off, and he starts looking around the crowd, but he's not looking at anyone in particular. It looks like he's just trying to look through people. A worried murmur starts in the crowd, but above it all, someone shouts, Hey, look up there, in the window! Not knowing which window to look at, you quickly scan the nearby buildings from, and among several onlookers from the upper floors, you see people armed with crossbows. Uh oh! They fire. They fire? I send a telepathic message to the I have a power the Adrian telling him to get down. I really like how you're using the... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Dr. Natural. Druid has any of those kind of... <laughs> Well, then, who does she turn? The character that the pre built and he is the exact same. The class of mine. The picture is exactly the same. And he named the character the same way. How high up are the rooftops? I'll get, I'll get to that. Alright, right, real quick. Um, you notice the guards with crossbows. They, uh, they're about uh, 60 feet from the stage or so. The roofs are 30 feet up in the windows. Like the windows are about 30 feet from the ground. And they begin firing. Firstly, it's going to be... Okay. Or you can make a this. Okay, uh, 20 versus AC for this bottle cap. That's a hit. 
All right. And it's going to be 11 versus AC against this one. No. All right. So uh, for being getting hit is going to be six damage. Okay. You also notice the remainder of them. I pull out. Oh, okay. Um, one one of them fires at uh, one of the members of the guard, and the guard walks with his shield. Yes. Another shoots at Abdel Adrian. How dare you! And actually is able to hit him in the shoulder, but he doesn't actually look very concerned about that. And the other uh, the other two hit random members of the crowd. Oh, you bastard! Yeah. So, um, everyone, give me an initiative roll. What? That initiative mean? roll. All right. So roll a d20. This is where I have to start doing paperwork now. What you got? You got a ten. So you're gonna have an eighteen. Doctor Druid's in eighteen. Ten. I got a six. What's your name? Hulk. I know. Just put Hulk. Or Bruce Banner. Yeah, that's a Miss you, Patton. You said what'd you say? Eighteen. Ten. Ten. Okay. You got a six. What's your modifier? My initiative modifier? Well, I guess it's a, it's a tie between you two, so who has the higher I have zero. zero. You have zero? <laughs> I have two. All right, you're going, you're going first. Okay. okay, what do you have? I got um, two with plus four. So six? Yes. All right, what's your, uh, what's your name? Uh, just with Deadpool. Deadpool? Yes. <laughs> okay, you got four. What do you got? That's um, what I mean. I have say, a what's your name? five with matter your life. Five? Okay. He's kind of medium. Wow, that's that's no, pretty brutal. Good, okay. You get yeah, out this robot dude, and you start shooting those guys in the window. <laughs> and or just the machine okay. guns. Oh yeah. Yeah. He's got. He's got to be easy. Yeah, he's he's our number one guy, dude. You get up on the stage and you start plucking those guys. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm right with you, man. Then we'll go to. I'm gonna pull them off of the roof. Oh yeah. I like the sound of that. Or a really long tongue for some reason. Okay. And then we've got. I kind of want to DM it. I kind of have side experience, so I want to learn how to do it. Well, I want to do it next week. Sounds kind of fun. Yeah, so, uh, Alright. Okay. I am just going to magic missile one of the assassins. All right, so beginning, uh, they fired their wave of shots, and they've actually seemed to got such a jump on you guys that they're gonna prepare and fire another round. Oh man, we yeah. suck. <laughs> they actually got a pretty big jump here. So there's how many? There's eight of them and five of you. Okay, so one against each of you first. Okay, we're gonna go twelve versus AC. Miss. Uh, twenty-two AC. Hit. 12 AC. Miss. Makes me angry. 21 AC. You won't like me when I'm angry. And uh, 16 AC. All right. So everyone who just got hit six damage. Ooh. And the other, actually the other three are gonna continue to fire at crowd members, and they're gonna kill. More Not crowdies. the bird salesman. Three, three crowdies died. <laughs> He's over here. <laughs> Not bird man. <laughs> right, bird three more crowd right here. Oh, that's good. We get his stool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. After that, it's gonna go to Dave. Yes. What would you like to do? Well, Doctor Druid is extremely concerned for the safety of the civilians. That's his number one concern. So, and and also for the. Guard. They, they seem to be targeting us and the civilians, not the guards or the people on the stage. Which is ironic, but okay. Don't worry, sir. I'll Maybe they knew of our road. Actually, crowd. I really need to go to the bathroom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That doesn't. So they, they are. This is a diversion, right? There is something else that's going to attack the stage. I would say so. So we need to be in position to do something about that. Yeah, this is way too. We need to get the. We need to get the people on the stage to safety. So where's the closest safety? Under the stage, I'm guessing. Or through here. Right, so let's kill these two and go that way. Okay. Is that good? I can try to pull one of them off the roof. Yeah, but, uh, but we're gonna try to we're gonna we're gonna move in that direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool? I, can, I can try to fling them off the roof and then someone who melee them and go finish off the show. Okay, so I have I have I have Firehawk, which is a range ten. I have range five. So I can move seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can move to this row. I can just divert again. So I'm going to move to here. 
Okay, Dr. Druid has determined that the safety of the crowd is important, but the most important thing is the protection of the Baldur's Great leadership. Okay. Because without that leadership, the city would fall once again into chaos. Okay. So I move there and yell to the two dignitaries on the stage to evacuate stage right or stage left. I'm like, which way is that? Stage right. Wait. Which way is stage right? Stage right? Yeah, because it means this is the stage and it faces out. Is this stage right? No, that would be stage right. Yeah. Who was in drama school last year? She was, that's why I was asking her. Yeah. I know, I took theater for five years. Actually, oh, right. then you got to know. Right? That's why I assumed she would know. That was the one thing we never knew. Stage right, no one knows. Oh, you guys had the same problem we had. All right, well, we're going to call it stage left. Okay, we're going to go this way. We're going to go this way, and I'm going to, on minion number gonna, seven, or on wait, monster so you're going to tell him, to, tell them to go that way? Evacuate down this alley. Okay. This is our evacuation path. We're going to go down this alley. Okay. And I'm going to flame hawk or fire hawk seven. Okay. So it's range 10 plus five versus reflex. I'm in for a 12. 12? That is a miss. That is a miss. Okay, also, I um, as you try to shoot your hawk, you notice that they're pretty smart. They're taking a little bit of cover behind the windows. They've okay. got a bit of cover. Okay, and, and but, but, but but strangely enough, the firehawk that I've summoned is still swarming. That's only on a hit. And after that, it's under hit. Yeah. Right? It's not an effect. You can use firehawk against the target. No, but that's under a hit. That's right? That's that's a hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree. I agree. Okay. But what does this thing do? Firehawk attack. That's you can use that if you hit. You can use that at the start uh, against them. If all right, you do all right. So if my firehawk unfortunately dissipates. All right. Anything else? It's still winning. No, that's it. Okay. Appropriate timing, actually. Um, Duke's um, Duke Abdul Adrian is it seems to be compelled by the sense that something unusual is going on. He's just standing at the stage, stage scanning the crowd. He like hears you and he just like he's like quiet down. He's like looking at the crowd for something. Uh -huh. Around that time, uh, this Duke over here. Uh, who introduces himself briefly as Torlin Silver Shields? He says, "I thank you for your concern, citizen. I think I will walk away for now." He and his assistant begin walking this way, real quick. The two men you see are. These are the two men you see on the crowd. Zufu. We're gonna go. Oh, yeah. Does look like Zufu? I thought that. <laughs> this is. These are the two men you see on the stage. Is so walking away? They begin walking this way. Uh, he whispers something into this man's ear. Give me a percep. Yeah, you two, you three, give me a perception. 23. Alright. Alright. You hear him whisper into uh, his assist. You see the Duke whisper into who is clearly his assistant's ear. He says, Stay and watch what happens and magically relay and tell me uh, how these people do at hand. Got it. And uh, the Silver Shield begins to walk off toward the evacuation path that you pointed out for him. Awesome. Alright. And. Okay. Uh, what initiative? That was 18. Gotcha. Okay, perfect. So, uh, now you hear uh, Len Tamor, the woman from before. Okay. Uh, the watch commander, she, uh, the watch all wait for the Vigilar's command. She says, get to those buildings. We need to take down those snipers. As she does that, each watch member uh, vanishes into one of the buildings. Nice. And, like, they go into the buildings and begin climbing up the stairs. Okay. okay. And she she dive, jumps over the stage, dives into this building back here. So there, you see them go into the building. When, um, as soon as she does that, you see a man... Let's see if he falls. You see this man climb up onto a couple of crates, throws his hands up in disgust at their action, try and tries to get Duke Adrian's attention. Uh, give me a history check. Everyone give me a history check. Okay, I'm only doing one test. Last one. Four. Thirteen. Two. Oh, plus zero. Awesome. Nice. 20! Oh, there, there it is! There it is! What's up? What are you asking? No, that's not Oh, you're just saying four. Okay. Okay. Uh, you know, you recognize this man to be older Raven Guard. He's the head of the Flaming Fist Mercenary Group. You know that they're actually a group that uh, works for Duke Adrian, and that uh, only Duke Adrian can order his involvement in a conflict like this because he's not an official city guard member. So he's trying to get Adrian to wave him, uh, to let him get involved, but the Duke is, seems to just be standing there. <laughs> He also seems really disgusted at Lenta Moore's move. All right, moving on, we've got uh, Bruce. Bruce, better. Can I tackle? Um... <laughs> I don't like where this is going. <laughs> exactly, man. Just get him. Who? No, like who? <laughs> tackle him and drag him to safety. Duke, oh, yeah. Duke Adrian. Duke. Okay. Uh, go ahead and make a ground attack against Duke Adrian. <laughs> 
sure. Do you want to warn him ahead of time? <laughs> This All is right. Adrian, I'm sorry! <laughs> you have no, no, you're solid. <laughs> no, no, I was unable to get arrested. Uh, I was part of a conversion. Uh, Alright, well, yeah, I'll declare my plan to Whoa. to this guy. Wait, where, where are you, firstly? I just gotta see something. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you're gonna be able to shot that far. What's a, what's a like, yelling roll? What's a yelling roll? Would be, uh, what kind of, <laughs> how about like diplomacy? You made it like 10 it's like 50 feet. 50 feet over the roar, uh, 50 feet over the roar of a crowd. How about you just yell it? I'll roll his perception, see if he hears you. All right. So what do you want to yell to um, flaming this guy? I'm going to tackle the duke and carry him, you know, somewhere over here. I'm going to try and get him out of there. Like to, for safety? Yeah. Okay. All right. You hear, you, you see him over there trying to get the duke's attention. He, he kind of hears you. He's like, okay. You but definitely do Gadrian for you. Alright, so what do you do now? You gonna move first or yeah. I mean I assume you have to. Where'd you like to go? Right next to him. There's a tornado. Okay. You gonna jump up on the stage? Uh, yeah, I guess I have to. Okay. Yeah. Give me the stage. the stage just the Just the Alright. Uh actually, no no, give me an athletics check if you wanna climb. Or if you wanna go around, let me know. Oh, I'll give you an athletics. 23. You're good. Nice. You're up on the stage next to Adrian. All right. Uh, make your grab. If you want to do that. All right. What's your total? Is that my eight? Like, my it's your strength mod. So. Plus, oh, you got a plus five. Yeah. All right. You grab. You grab Duke Adrian. He, he looks a little like it's actually pretty weird. He looks a little uneasy that you grabbed him, but he is still staring at that crowd, looking for something. Ah. He's on drugs. Alright, alright, um, any minors? You did your move.